I was gonna do Hey What's Up Gamers, but I don't even want to do that ironically. Thank so, you. uh, this is the this is the intro. Hello, gang. <laughs> What's up? We're back. We got Dangin Rampa. There's a letter on our bedroom floor, and we're gonna go fuck Aoi Asahina. Also, something you. random, funny that I found out about the Sailor Moon 90s dub. They were so trying to avoid any word with a curse word in it, they wouldn't even say asphalt. They say asphalt. <laughs> wow. I, yeah, we really? noticed it multiple times. It's very funny. Yeah. Wait. So they really knew what a YouTube poop was before YouTube poops were a thing. Got it. This piece of paper, it looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meat in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good, but to want to meet up so suddenly... Are, are they confessing to me? Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling <laughs> me out like this? Like seriously, why do you always call me out like this, Cass? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Cause fuck you, bruh. Yeah, I thought it was nighttime. It is. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like, Monokuma time. And I get stabbed. Yo. <sighs> Hero? Then the letter I found in my room. You know? Your handwriting is really nice. I guess I have to read this because he's literally the only other person talking. Hmm. Well, I was taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost hmm. would come and haunt you. Who taught <sighs> you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did that what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually... I'm just an errand boy on this. Mm. Anyway, what do you say, say to a late night bath session? Why do they always have fucking Hagakure come get us? Why can't it be anyone else? And also, why is Hagakure always wanting to take a bath with me? Because it's to get us into the bathhouse? Talk about alter ego? No, like, it's really weird. God, Gabe, don't be so gay. Just have a bath with your homie, fuck's sake. I, I think he's jealous of uh, Ishimaru and Mondo's relationship, and he wants that. He just wants somebody to love. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. That's probably louder than I needed to be, but me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. You. Hey you! How long are you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he s stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that. Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Shut up! What? What do you say? You going to make you cry, little girl? Taka, he seems even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? He got a poop phone? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? What the heck? Oh shit, fuck, I forgot what her voice is. Uh, Nugget. Nugget! Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Cow rude, I make it like you ain't no right to speak that way to our having cute maker! Oh. Huh, are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Is she trying to lick your face? That's all you need to know. Shut up! Hey, come on. Well, uh, yeah. hey. no, I'm not reading that. <laughs> you wanted us all to meet you, right, Kyoko? So what are we going to do here? How about that? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? <coughs> uh, excuse me. What color underwear all of us are wearing? That's what he's been working on the past two days. I mean, we can gather everyone's underwear. <laughs> I... Okay. <gasps> like I said, it's almost ten. Hurry up and spill it. You gotta talk to Kyoko again. I know. I just like hearing a clue, some of these people. A clue, talk. a clue, a clue! We finally found a clue! Too adorable. Come on, we gotta ask Kyoko what it is! I just like hearing certain people talk that I... Don't always get here. What do you want? Am I the only one you should be talking to right now? Yeah. All right. I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on before anything else. I oh, I was trying to. 
it's gone. Gone? I came here a little uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop has disappeared. What? No way! Y you're kidding, right? Oh. Huh? Um... What? She's gone? You. you can't be fudging serious. What do you do with him? Was it... Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just m missed it. However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. I don't know that I believe that. I'm pretty sure she wasn't. Whatever. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then the solution is the solution is mystery is obvious. It could only be him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big, jaggling, jiggling sack of fat. Wow. Just so you know, this isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation. Wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong, it's you. Wrong. No, there's no way either of them did it. I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for. Completely understandable, have a nice day. But I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, Herbert. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, it wasn't Taka or Fumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, Celeste, Hasakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! I like how we didn't even say Hagakure. Eh, uh, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be! Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care. I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How many times do they have to kill my bro before they're happy? A big old scram I had across the ground. Please just give him back. This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy- If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it with them. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it. it doesn't matter, nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear I will save her! Using the power of love! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. 
As such, it is officially nighttime. I'm gonna be honest, I find it bizarre that anyone even bothers mentioning Makoto at this point. Like, I, I think that Byaki is smart enough to know that Makoto is not really capable of murder. So you know. And yet, if you fuck up during class trial, they always vote for you. Yeah, that's something I actually kinda hate. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night. Just, I mean, it made point, sense in the first chapter, but it doesn't really make sense in any other one. Every other chapter, they should just go after the red herring every time. They should never go after Makoto, because everyone at this point, or at least Byakuya, Kirigiri, people like them, should know it cannot be Makoto. He's, he is small boy. That's like claiming it was Chihiro all along. Chihiro's the mastermind. Oh, damn. He got me there. It's nighttime, huh? It's, it's night nighttime. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you're too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. So, I was kind of joking before, but no, you totally are a British by injection. Fuck off. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice and we won't get anything done. Takafumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> You shouldn't think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Alter so do you think there's a spy game? I mean, we already got a cutscene where they were talking to somebody who is currently in our group. That happened. So, yeah, I know. I remember. My initial deduction is that Kirigiri is the detective role, and she was put here to make sure that we don't fuck up literally the first game. Well. <laughs> like, that is my guess. Um, beyond that, I have no idea. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. Despair! We were given Sorry. hope, and then that hope was taken away. Despair. It's just like... Just like the Mastermind is doing to us, then could it be really true, whoever stole Alter Ego? Could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... Then oopsie no, poopsie. No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yelled that loud. loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is that the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is definitely of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. Found myself in a surprising high spirits and hurried to the dining hall, but when I found out what was waiting there for me, I mean, three of the best characters? Is this it? What happened to the others? 
Aren't they coming? There was only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people. God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. Anyway, let's wait for a little while longer for the others. There's ten people in total, right? Uh, us four... Byakuya, Toko, Hagakure, Hifumi, Taka. And am I forgetting anybody else? Celeste. So, 10, I think. Because there were 15 to start. Well, there were 15 spots, but only 14 people. And then we lost 4 people. Oh, 14 people. I thought it was 16 spots and 15 people. Okay. 14 I, people. Well, that, does, that math doesn't add up because we've only lost 4 people. No, we didn't. No, we, we lost, lost five. Junko. We lost, we lost Junko. Junko. Yeah. yeah, okay, there were 16 spots. I forgot. Aha! Junko. I was right! Okay, well, I was talking about the people in the cases. Junko doesn't count. I mean, She's she was murdered to show a lesson. To prove a point. Okay. Don't fuck with Monokuma. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. You know what I've said. What? Wait, what? Um... It doesn't matter. The thing with Cal. Oh, that I'm British? By no, it what? doesn't matter. It was this was months ago. You probably don't remember. Okay. We're moving on. Okay. It's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour. Mm. Why haven't the others come? Because I mean, Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Fumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I was too... I was... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There's no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Money! Oh, I completely money, forgot money, about the money. Money! 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 Yeah, unless Celeste has been lying about her funds, I don't think she cares about that I poultry sum. And didn't Hifumi say he makes enough money from his life. stuff, too? Yeah. Would any ultimates really be poor in the first place, though? I feel like Makoto, just because he's ultimate luck, but that's it. Makoto would be, um... I mean, Aoi doesn't necessarily have money. She just has medals. Uh, don't know about soccer either. I mean, yeah, but professional athletes get sponsored a lot. They make a yeah, lot of money. But you could use the money to do something. Um, before we continue, I'm just thinking about everyone. Bianca would not care about that poultry sum. Hagakure wasted all his money on that crystal ball from Trial 1. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Hagakure and... Um, Taka's too much of a moral compass. Who does that leave? Toko? Toko? Toko. She's had okay. two best-selling novels, though. And? and she's like 15. So, I, I think she's good. Don't tell me somebody did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here and you can't even consider it strange, not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Thank god, me being the one talking the most was a pain. Yeah, I mean, you do realize as time goes on, it seems like the guys are just dying off. I know. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. No, you're going to the bath. I'll be there in five minutes. Anyway. Okay. Don't take any risk. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Okay. Let's go. 
Mm-hmm. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitation, I rushed off to the first foot school. 